Okay, so we have the Dreamline Classic here. Uh, there are three screws up top to remove the barrel. Uh, I've shown this in the uh, Dreamline disassembly and reassembly, but we're going to go over it again just for the barrel series. Alright, so this first screw right here is a 4mm Allen. You don't normally have to remove or, or loosen that one in order to remove the barrel, um, but sometimes it is a little tight, so you just want to back it out maybe like one thread or so, just so it's not tight anymore. Normally that'll be held in place by Loctite. Uh, so you might need to heat it up a little bit. The second two screws right here are three millimeter Allens. And you certainly, you basically just loosen up here. And there you go. You just do that and the barrel will slide right on out. Just as so. Alright, and then put it back in. Be sure that you don't shove the barrel in too hard. There is a small notch right here on the barrel inlet. So that whenever you slide it back into the action, there is a pin back here that this comes in place to. Uh, slowly insert it in, make sure you have lube on your O-rings. And as you do, make sure you do not slam that in too hard. This is brass, so it is easily damageable. Uh, so just be careful whenever you're inserting it in. Also to keep track, there is a little notch right here in the side of the brass, so you can keep it aligned. So you just take it, put it in, and slowly slide it in. Look for the pin, and there you go. You can see the first shoulder sticking out, uh, but a second shoulder does not stick out. If the second shoulder sticking out, the magazine will not fit. And also, uh, yeah, it, it's too far, and that means you've damaged the brass. But in any case, to lock it back down, what you're going to do is you're going to start off with your 3mm again. You're going to start with the front one, lock that down tight, then go to the second one, lock that down tight. And then you're going to take your 4mm, if you loosen the back one, if you didn't loosen the back one you don't have to worry about the step, but if you didn't, just uh, turn it in, you, you don't tighten this one, just turn it in just to where it stops. You, you don't have to make it tight, I mean just literally like you can do just finger tight like that and then you're good. All that does is seal a hole, uh, so make sure it does still have Loctite on it whenever you're done. Alright, so now we're going to go to the pellet probe. Okay, so now to remove the pellet probe right here. Alright, so first of all, uh, the barrel will have to remove because the pellet probe has to come out this way. Uh, so real quick again, you got your 4 millimeter. Loosen that by one thread. You've got your 3 millimeter. You just slide that on out. And then you're going to pull back your caulking bolt just slightly until you can see your set screw. Then you're going to take a 1.5 millimeter Allen. I've got a uh, very small one here. Make sure it's in the hole. And turn it counterclockwise. There might be a small amount of Loctite on there, so just be sure not to strip it out. All right, and there we go. There's your pellet probe screw. And set that down. Now you can pull back slightly on the the cocking lever, and then, as you can see, the pellet probe comes right out the front. It's a little difficult to get through, but oh, you can just shoot it right out the front, and there you go. That's where it lines itself up in the base. It's a like rectangle shape. And then you've got your little notch here for the screw. So, set it back in. You have to feed it back through. It is a little difficult. Alright, and at this point you want to pull the bolt back a little bit, so you can see, you can see right there, the rod is going into the, the carrier, and you're going to line it up, you're going to look at your pellet probe right here, make sure it's lined up, the, the hole facing down, 
and with that there's a square in the carrier that should line up with the square that's in the back of the pellet probe. Make sure it's in there snug. If you hold the pellet probe and let the spring try to move the, the cocking lever forward, you can make sure it's jammed in there right. Alright, so we're just going to rest that lever now. We're going to grab, oops, sorry about that, grab or try to focus it here, our pellet probe screw. Put it back into place. A the thing to watch while you're doing this is to make sure that the pellet probe doesn't come out of the base. So you can see there, there's no square showing. So it's still good to go. Alright. So there we go, it's nice and tight. I'm going to take the flat end. Give it a little torque. That's good enough. All right, and there's your pellet probe. So the last thing you're gonna do, you grab your barrel, go ahead and put it back in. And just remember, one, two, and finger tight. All right, and that's the Dreamline. Thanks for watching.